Hey guys, I'm still here in Dar es Salaam in Tanzania. Uh, I came across a, an Oxford lock today. Now, I've picked Oxfords before when I visited Tanzania oh, several months ago. But this is the first time I found a dimple lock. And here's what the bidding on this one looks like. So it's pretty good bidding. It's a six pinner. It works perfectly. Uh, it just came out of the box and you can see uh, check the quality looks good. Even when they did the pinning on the bottom, it's not uneven like some of the other locks that I've seen here. I, that I, I didn't bother to even buy those. They look pretty bad. But this one did come with a box, which is unusual. But you can study this box all you want and nowhere will you find a country of manufacture. You will find a lot number, so they do manage it to some degree, and it's a world-class lock, so that should give you a great, great comfort stamped all over it. And they also put a, some little reinforcement there that, you know, craftsmen made this thing with the best possible machinery. And the interesting part is uh, the last couple times, and it's high quality warrants maximum safety and durability. It, but being a lock, you'd think they say something about security, but they don't. They just, uh, they just talk about safety and durability. So anyway, let's see if we can get this thing picked. Um, I'm just going to use a normal tension wrench in the side. Now when you pick these dimple locks, one of the things you want to check, don't put it off on the side and then try to turn it because it will bind against the body of the lock and you won't get any tension. You'll figure it out pretty quick, I mean, because you're, all your pins will remain springy. So I picked uh, one of my wrenches that kind of wedges in there like that, so I know that it's nowhere near. It just kind of fits in that slot, and it's nowhere near the edge of the lock. So the way I like to pick uh, dimple locks uh, is I just put a little bit of tension on them, and then I take a pick, and I'm going to use regular, just a standard flag for this, just a flat one. Come on, baby, focus for me. Uh, no curves or anything on it, just a straight flag. Okay, a little bit of tension. And then when you put it down inside of the keyway, it'll slide along the top of the pins. When there's a little bit of tension, one of them, as you slide it down there, will bind up. It's like hitting a speed bump. So you just keep moving down until you hit that speed bump. And let's see if I can't find out who he is here. Okay, it feels like pin 5, so give him a little tweak. Okay. I think we set him. Okay, then I'm going to bring him out, and I'm just going to start down the stack again. Again, looking for a binder. There's like maybe pin two. No, not yet. Pin three. He Okay, he gave me a little click. Okay, and you just keep doing that. Just keep repeating back and forth. And every time, usually one of them will give will start binding for you and just pick him and keep moving to the back of the stack and then sooner or later uh, the dude theoretically will open for you. That was pin one. So I have one, four, five, and six I believe unless somebody jumped out of their seat. Oops, sorry about that. Try to keep that a little better centered for you. Okay, that was pin six again, so he did jump out of his seat. So now we'll begin in the front, again, checking for a binder. Okay, that was pin two, so he had jumped out. And I'm on pin five. Okay, I got a little click out of that, so we'll start in the front again and just move down the stack. And there we go. Okay, there's only two security pins in this one, but it wasn't a heck of a lot of feedback, I gotta say. So the quality of the fee of the uh, security pins, there's a little bump on them, so I suspect it's probably a low. There are low quality spools. So because as soon as I felt a little bit of feedback, I just touched them and literally they popped into place with just a little bit of feedback. So there you go, an Oxford six-pin dimple lock. And if I had to bet money, I would say that it's probably made in the same place as this one. Now, in a quick look, you probably say, oh, well, that's a tricircle. But, oh, no, this is a tricyclic, which they're very proud they made in China. So this is a copy, a clone of an already bad lock made in China, but still got the same model number. But you know it's quality because it costs 3,000 shillings 
which is uh, probably close to two dollars. So there you go, the tricyclic and an Oxford six pin SPP. Anyway, everybody, thanks for your time. Stay safe, and from Dar es Salaam, please stay legal. You will flip when you see Bosnian Bill's YouTube channel. Subscribe now.